You have two pieces of threaded rod, one inch, and I'm gonna weld this nut on here. In a little bit, you'll see why. All right, so I have the face of my twin screw vise dimensioned. It's, yeah, it doesn't really matter what the dimensions are for you, but uh, mine's personally 22 wide uh, by six by about two inches, uh, give or take. It's not that big of a deal. So the next step I need to do is I marked out um, the spots I need to bore the holes through. And before I bore the threaded rod sized hole, I need to bore a little larger hole so this nut can spin freely. Um, this is the nut in, or the piece in that I welded on here. It's not the best weld, but I'll have to clean that up. Um, but the concept here is that it should spin freely in here. And I'll put a cap over here to keep it from coming out. Um, it'll make more sense in later steps. Okay, so now that I have the larger holes bored, I can come back and do the one inch hole for the threaded rod size. Um, and I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so now I need to uh, drill a hole through the back side of the vise. Um, and I'm going to use the front part as a guide hole to make sure I get it in the same spot. Um, I'll have to repeat this operation again for another piece. Um, but first, I'll need to counterbore it much like this to accept the nut so I can screw into it. I need to do another counter bore to hold the nut. Um, I'm using my bench here that I'm also currently building to register the height of this next piece. I'll then use the same size bit just to guide the bit and leave a small indent here so I can start the larger bit. Okay, so I want to sandwich the nut between these two pieces of board and I'm going to screw these together so I can take it apart and fix any issues if they ever occur. I don't think that would be a problem, but better safe than sorry. I'm going to start by um, using a Forstner bit to countersink a bit to make room for the screw heads and then I'm going to screw these together.
these caps. So now I'm going to drill two round holes so I can attach these um, to the bench more securely. Close up and eat one.
Okay, so I finished up the screw handles and uh, I epoxied them onto the shaft. And now I need to make a collar here in order to keep this nut from pulling out. Um, so the job moves back when I unscrew it. Um, so basically I just need to, I already drilled a hole that's a little bigger than the threaded rod. And I'm just gonna cut it in half. And then I'll uh, screw it there. Screw it in place. Okay, so looking back through my build videos, I noticed it wasn't very clear how this vise came together. So I'm gonna run through that shortly. Um, so basically this end cap was epoxied onto this. I tried to drill it on there. However, I kept breaking drill bits. So we'll see if the epoxy holds. Otherwise, I'll try to find a better drill bit. After that, this collar, this retaining collar, keeps the nut that has been inset into these two boards here and welded onto the threaded rod from coming out. So that when I screw the board outward, the vise follows. Inside, or on the part that's been bolted to the bench, there's another inset nut that is responsible for the clapping action so that when I screw the vice in you know the jaw closes and that's pretty much it it's all pretty simple other than that i screwed it to the bench from the face and underside and then finally i put a coat of boiled linseed oil on it so hopefully this video is helpful i am very excited to use this i'm happy with how it turned out um Soon I'll be posting plans for both the vise and the bench, as well as a follow-up video for how I constructed this bench. Um, so if you're interested in those two things, don't forget to like and subscribe.